Hey guys, welcome to the Dragon Corps YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about MQTT. Now, guys, what is MQTT? Now, this is a protocol specifically specifically related to the IoT domain. Now, it's been it's been on a quite a boom these days. Now, what is MQTT actually? Now, throughout all the experience that I've got, I've under I've understood. I'm gonna be explain MQTT through that. All right. So let's take an example. Why not HTTP? Now, HTTP is a protocol we all know that it's, that it sends HTML documents and use HTML documents as a way of communication between the server and clients, which the browser and the server, right? So, why not HTTP in the IoT domain? So, for communication between the devices, uh, what HTTP does it? It uses HTML documents. Now, suppose if we have a server like Tomcat, or we have uh, let's consider. Uh, suppose any other server any server you like now every server has this particular limit of request handling uh, property right so uh, every server has a limit up to which it can serve the request now uh, if the limit is crossed the server starts to get hanged and then if the request continues to increase then the server uh, crashes eventually right so let's take an example of the tomcat server it consists of it actually it can handle 180 threads at a time 180 that uh, actually means 180 requests at a time so handling 180 requests right so if what if 190 requests come uh, all together then the server would crash or the server would hang so that's the vulnerability that tomcat server consists of now it's a unidirectional communication right so the server would eventually not send you the response automatically even you uh, only you need to send the request even uh, and after that the server would send you the response so that's a unidirectional communication only you begin the communication so that's a uh, disadvantage of that and there's then then there's a high amount of load on the server so this load on the server in order to reduce that this mqtt protocol came into existence now even for uh, high power device devices that contain high amount of ram high about of uh, high specifications only those can support http http protocol what about devices like microcontrollers those have ram about 16 kb or 17 kb or uh, 100 kb or so or 150 mb or so only this um, this much ram so they cannot use html document processing power they do not have that much power to process html documents right so what they need is a different protocol to work on so that is MQTT. Actually, its full form is Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. So what this does is, it is actually based on pub sub model. Now, what pub sub model is? Pub refers to the publish and sub re refers to the subscribe. Now let's take a scenario to understand that. Now whenever you want a newspaper, you want a, a daily uh, newspaper at your at your house. What you do is you tell the newspaper man to deliver new, to the newspaper every every week, all days of the week, right? what this is what you do actually so he you don't need to go to the newspaper man every day and tell him that you need a newspaper even what even contrary to that what he does is he delivers the newspapers automatically to you every day once you do what you subscribe to that newspaper right so he publishes the news uh, newspaper every day same is the case with mqtt protocol and the devices that lie in the iot domain what they follow is once you there's this broker web a website that lies in the category of broker now what is a broker is um, broker is a container type of website that holds your data now eventually when whenever you push a data suppose you pushed one as your data that one goes to the container on the broker website all the devices that are subscribed to that con container receive uh, are uh, then provided that, that one that you send suppose you want to handle three switches at a time right all the three switches that you want that same command should be gone to those three switches when you press the one uh, press the button once so what you do is you press the button and those three devices are subscribed to that particular container which contains the one so what the broker web website does is it it, uh, it knows that uh, which three devices are subscribed to it so it publishes that one to all those three devices like the newspaper man does right so that's the case with mqtt now the there's uh, there are several more advantages of mqtt you know 
the http protocol has a disadvantage that it has lengthy headers you need to uh, i mean you can set many as many headers as you want uh, around your choice but still it takes memory it uh, takes by default takes memory and allocates memory for uh, if the user if the user wants a choice to set the headers right but mqtt doesn't it doesn't do that it actually sets the allocates the memory for only two headers it has the quality of last will and quality of service which http doesn't have right so http doesn't know if the, it will only send a response once it doesn't matter to http uh, http that the device is switched off or switched on it if if it has sent the response once it will never send it again now this property has been overcome in the mqtt protocol you have this um, quality of service if you choose the set the quality of service of that uh, particular uh, device for that particular container as three then what it will do is it will understand that it needs to check whether the device is switched off or on if the device is switched off it will send the data again if the device is switched on it will send the data only once so that's actually advantage of mqtt and then there's this quality of last will if you uh, further don't want to continue to receive the uh, values published by that server by that broker website to which you subscribe to that means you need to cancel the subscription then you just need to send a one to that server through that device that's the last will the uh, let's take a scenario i mean for suppose for an example the device says goodbye to the server and then server responds in for uh, the final uh, value all right uh, for as an acknowledgement that all right your service is then sub uh, subscription is then cancelled another thing is that HTML works on HTML documents, right? I've told that earlier. But what on what MQTT works it uh, works is string messages. It sends messages, and you know string can contain anything, integer, double, float, or anything. You can set any send any type of value through strings, right? So MQTT works on string. You can send about 256 MB of data, 256 MB of data, right? So there's no problem of server crashing because there is no request response handling type architecture. It is based on pub sub architecture, publish and subscribe model. And there are no lengthy headers. The communication is fast. There is quality of service, quality and the last will. So these four properties make this protocol as a verge of boom in the IoT domain. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment section below.